from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, April 7th. So today we will see the moon in Pisces go void, of course, at 4.28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Aries energy, 7.26 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. And of course, we're already being sucked in to this new moon solar eclipse window in Aries that, of course, will be popping off here on Monday, April 8th. So we're definitely in the vibes. And the deeper we get into that Aries energy, the more crazy cray we're likely going to feel if you haven't listened to this week's ascension forecast as of yet i'm going to recommend you do so if you haven't listened to the astro forecast that i put out for this event i'm going to recommend you do that as well you can figure out where this particular eclipse will be taking place in your life by downloading the april zodiac forecast and of course if you want to do a deep dive into your own chart into understanding the karmic cycle that you're about to close out and therefore jump into a brand new one please 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 access the moon guide. We have the moon guide. It's an hour and a half long episode this time around because again, this total solar eclipse is a monumental event shifting the energy, shifting our consciousness. So of course you can access that moon guide through my Patreon or through my website. Definitely going to recommend that you do that as well. So there are six different aspects taking place here today. All six involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day, an emotional refinement day. Be very aware of your energy, of your emotions, especially of the restlessness, the anxiety, the impulse, the urgency that, of course, we have to try to avoid. This particular energy is going to make us want to take action and make moves, but of course, we're not in the energy to do that. So this is going to be a tough love life lesson in energy management. So we kick off the day with the moon in Pisces energy, making a positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information communication, how it is that we express ourselves, who is currently retrograde in this Aries energy, a major key player in this new moon solar eclipse in Aries. So we actually like this vibration because it means that our heart space, the moon, and our head space, Mercury, they're getting on the same page. Now the moon's still in Pisces energy and Mercury looking back, we're definitely unpacking some things. We're having some new realizations, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of understanding on what it is that we're moving away from and therefore now what it is that we wanna move closer to. This could definitely be another indicator that if you find yourself in a conversation in an energetic exchange that we could probably make a little bit of leeway kind of reconciling finding a middle point finding a new compromise with whatever relationship dynamics have been popping off and kind of proving to be a little bit difficult or challenging through this particular relationship eclipse gateway the moon is going to come up to bump into team up with neptune of course neptune rules over this Pisces energy. Neptune is at the final degrees of this Pisces energy. So this is going to be the last aspect that the moon in Pisces is going to make before we jump into Aries energy, initiating a brand new cycle. So this particular aspect is definitely going to bring on the feels. This is a conjunction, which means that there is an ending just as much as there is a beginning because this Pisces energy is emotional, is intuitive, is spiritual, is imaginative. We're definitely feeling the need to kind of rest, to kind of go with the flow, to kind of unwind, to come to some certain point of acceptance, of surrender, and just start putting a lot of that emotional pain and baggage behind us. So this is the last aspect that the moon in Pisces is going to make before going void, of course, at 4.28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We lock into that Aries energy, 7.26 a.m. And we sit in that for approximately two and a half, maybe even three hours before we have a moon in Aries aspect. And the very first aspect that we make is a sextile, beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy, trying to empower us, trying to improve us, trying to make us see where a major shift, major change, major transformation first has to happen 
happen in our inner realm before we're going to see those changes manifest in our external realm. This particular energy is going to be a fire starter. Again, Aries energy. There's a lot of pick me up. There's a lot of fire, a lot of imagination, a lot of creativity, a lot of energy coming at us. And this is definitely going to put us in a totally different mood, different attitude, different disposition. We want to move forward. We want to start something new. We want to take action. We want to make moves. But unfortunately for us, there aren't many moves to be made at this particular point in time. But we are cultivating the fire, the spark, the flame within us. And this is definitely putting us in a more powerful position to see what it is that we actually want to pursue. The moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She is just fresh into this Aries energy. We just shifted into this brand new cycle on technically the end of the day on the fourth, the beginning of the day on the fifth. If you haven't listened to that astro forecast as of yet, definitely going to recommend that you do that as well. So again, another conjunction, another ending of cycle, another beginning of cycle. And we're starting to realize now that we've had a change of heart. With that change of heart comes new wants, new needs, new desires. This Aries energy is very direct, very straightforward, not effing around. We definitely have no problem declaring what it is that we want, we need, we desire, what it is that we now want to pursue. Definitely an activation of that heart space, probably going to feel some ascension symptoms in that particular area of your body. Definitely recommend listening to the astro forecast to understand where the energy is shifting in our physical form. We have the moon in Aries energy going to semi-square, first Jupiter, then Uranus, both Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus energy. A semi-square is a little bit of a tension point, a little bit of a conflict in order for us to choose, to decide. We're essentially prepping and preparing for a major change in growth, in activity, in direction. So the moon first interacting with Jupiter, we're questioning our options. We're questioning where it is that we would like to go from here. A little bit frustrated, a little bit restless because of course that Aries energy wants us to take action and make moves, but we're in contemplation stage right now. And of course, that's going to ruffle some feathers, really agitate the physical form. That's why you need to kind of engage in physical activity, give yourself a healthy outlet for a lot of this anxious, restless energy. The moon then interacts with Uranus Again, a semi-square creating tension and conflict at this particular point in time. We are trying to figure out what it is that we could do differently. No, we're not gaining as much clarity as we would like. We are in a new moon phase, let alone a solar eclipse phase. So clarity is not going to not be knocking on our door for a little bit more time, a couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks until we're returned back to regular energetic programming. This particular interaction, though, definitely going to kind of get our anxieties, our insecurities, that restlessness, those ants in our pants, just jumping for joy. And a lot of this is because, again, we're being blocked and challenged, so to speak. We're trying to think of the big picture vision. We're trying to think of new things that we could do to create a different result. But again, the force of Aries energy wants to actually see things in motion, and we're just not there yet.